this is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength, and welcome to my channel. And today you are tuned in for Fashion Sense. And I just want to talk about statement skirts and how you can incorporate that into your wardrobe, how you can style it. But let's go ahead and specifically focus in on what a statement skirt is. Of course, it's a skirt that makes a statement, but it can make a statement in a lot of different ways. So it could be a skirt that has a fabulous print. It could be a skirt that is bold in color. It could be a skirt that is texturally and visually appealing and has lots of layers to it. It could be something that is original in its cut and design and pattern. So it could be an asymmetrical cut. It could be a high low skirt or it could be a combination of all of those elements. That's what makes a statement skirt. It's that piece that's gonna pop and stand out. And it's that piece that you really don't have to, you know, work with to really make a statement. And so today, that's what I'm going to be sharing with you. I recently purchased a statement skirt from one of my online friends and content creators, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Thank you so much, Lynn, for being an avid thrifter like me because Lynn loves to thrift, not only for herself, but for others. She also has a Facebook group that she's a part of where they sell and they do live sales, but I'm not a part of Facebook, so I was able to catch her on YouTube doing one of her thrift hauls and she highlighted something in her video that was my size and the color was screaming my name and I was like I just got to have that so I commented in the comment sections and she said it's yours so I cashed after her she mailed it and it got here so quickly so thank you Lynn you're just awesome to do business with and awesome to know and communicate with on YouTube. So I'm gonna show you this fabulous skirt, then we're gonna get into the styling. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, then go ahead, stick around, click like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload more videos. And now let's go on over and start the show. So this is the statement skirt that I'm going to be styling today. And I just wanna talk about some of the elements of this that make it a statement skirt. Visually speaking, you can see that this is a very dynamic piece in design and pattern. So the pattern itself is what really got me and drew my attention. And then secondly, the color. So those are the elements to me that really speak the most then third would have to be the cut of this skirt. It does have an interesting element here with this faux wrap, kind of asymmetrical slant to the hem of the skirt, which I think is really, really nice. So the length of it is a very modest length, and I think it's very flattering to rock with like boots or with pumps or with sandals. So this is really a cute skirt. And I want to give you a close-up of the design. So here's the print, nice geometric print. Love that they only stuck with three colors, green, black, and blue, which make it really easy for styling. So when you're styling something like this, you know, a statement piece, you want to go with something that's going to complement but not compete. Remember, complement not compete. We're going to be styling for all the seasons, spring, summer, winter, and fall. So for the spring look, I've got white tee, a basic classic white tee, something everyone has in their closet. It would go with most statement skirts. And then you can accessorize with a nice, you know, necklace that might pull out some of those colors. In this case, I'm going with this piece here. And then maybe a pair of sand. Maybe it is early fall and it's getting a little chilly. You could go with a, like something like this. This is a blue turtleneck, mock turtleneck by Michael Kors. And you can really look good on a thrifty budget. You really can. All right, so black, of course, is a given. And I wanted to experiment with necklines for styling the black. So this is a bodysuit by Gianni Bini. It has a square neckline, and I thought this would be really, really great to rock. And then if, you know, you want to go with a more classic look and it's still fall and maybe you could layer up, you know, this is a cap sleeve turtleneck by Michael Kors, which was thrifted. I thought that would be a great option. And then for those really chilly days, a heavier weight turtleneck in black with boots would look really great and a nice leather coat. 
So those are the things that I pulled from my closet to style. I have not tried any of these on guys, so I don't know what they're gonna look like. And I'm gonna show you whether they look good or not so you can see the hit or misses. And I definitely wanna hear from you in the comments below. I wanna get your feedback and your dialogue. We're in this together. It's all about learning, having fun with fashion and having a little bit of fashion sense. So this is the skirt. These are the things that I pulled. So let's jump right into the styling. Before I jump into the styling, I did want to share with you the brand of this skirt. So the brand is Astro, and this is a polyester blend skirt. I love anything that is washable, and this is washable. Anything that I don't have to dry clean, I am all for it. In addition, I wanted to share with you that I will be styling this ponytail with all of the looks. This is an equal ponytail. It's a drawstring ponytail that has a comb that you hook over your bun, and it's so easy to wear. And I'll try to leave the information in the description box below if I can find it. All right, now on with the styling. For look number one, this is a Wild Fable t-shirt from Target and the pumps are by Gianni Beanie. These are just some nude sandals and the purse is a Shein box purse and this is a look number one. So for styling number two, I paired this skirt with the Michael Kors blue mock turtleneck and the shoes are black suede ankle strap vintage crown pump from DSW. The handbag is Bad Craft of London handbag and that is look number two. For look number three, I paired this skirt with the Gianni Bini black bodysuit and the shoes are Sam Edelman and the bag is Henry Bindle. For look number four, I switched up the top and paired it with this Michael Kors cap sleeve turtleneck and some Gianni Bini black sandals. And this is an Amazon bag that has rhinestones. I thought I would jazz it up a little bit. So remember, you don't have to be matchy matchy when pairing things up. And that is look number four. For look number five, the final look, I paired this black turtleneck with the skirt. I am wearing a Stuart Weitzman vintage bag and my shoots boots and some black tights. And this is look number five. But you know, I'm thinking that this outfit would be great for church. It would be great for date night, so many occasions. But if it's cold outside, you're gonna need a coat. And voila, a leather coat is just the coat for this outfit. And I think that is the finishing touch for this look. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below which look you like best. Thank you so much for tuning in for a segment of Fashion Sense on the Statement Skirt. I hope you enjoyed this segment. Just remember, you want to compliment, not compete. And you want to draw from the elements in your piece, whether it be the pattern, the texture, or the color, or the cut. 
you want to bring it together and make it a unified piece. So just keep that in mind. I hope these tips were helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave comments. I love interacting with you. Let me know which was your favorite. And as always, remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he truly loves us so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.